The grim scene in the bathroom. Leanne's bloated body lies in the family bathtub. Had she drowned? Or was that a murder? Bathtub drowning of wife unveils husband's steamy affair with young nanny. A suburban Michigan family lives seemingly in a state of calm. Leanne and Tim met in college. After graduating, they quickly entered a seemingly perfect marriage. Tim, the son of the town's only doctor, became a city councilman. Leanne, a devoted wife and mother of two, raised the family while working part-time. They created a perfect image of life in the American style. To help Leanne care for their two children, Tim and Leanne hire a young nanny named Jamie Hathaway. Jamie, only 20 years old, is invited into the house with the hope of helping raise the children and maintain the family's ideal life. However, things soon turn sour. Jamie is not just a maid, but also becomes the center of a shocking secret. The relationship between Tim and Jamie begins to show suspicious signs. Tim Shannon, Leanne's husband, is quickly drawn to Jamie's charm and youthfulness. Their relationship, which started with furtive glances and meaningful smiles, develops into a secret love affair. Jamie is not just a maid, but gradually becomes a part of Tim's secret life. Secret messages between Tim and Jamie begin to appear. They are not just simple words, the messages contain deep emotions, promises of the future. Along with the intimate photos they sent each other, a clear picture of betrayal began to emerge. Tim and Jamie's secret rendezvous also increased, They often met secretly, looking for secluded places to avoid suspicion from others. They were not just secret lovers, but had planned a future together. <laughs> Leanne, the loving and devoted wife, was unaware of this betrayal. She only sensed the change in her husband's behavior, Tim's distance and coldness. Every ten went out, Leanne fell into a state of anxiety, wondering if something was wrong in her life. One day, she accidentally saw a message from Jamie. Now she was faced with extreme pain. She felt like everything around her was collapsing. This betrayal was not only a shock, but also a nail in her heart, causing her to fall into a state of severe depression. As the days passed, Leanne felt like she was lost in a dark sea with no way out. The pain, loss, and betrayal continued to swirl in her mind. The tension in the family increased, and Tim's relationship with Leanne became increasingly strained. Arguments, conflicts, and arguments became an integral part of their lives. Leanne, in despair, could not find comfort from her husband, and loneliness drove her to drink heavily. Leanne Shannon, drunk, soaked in the bathtub, wildly enjoying the coolness of the rushing water. Tim stood outside the bathroom door, hearing the sound of water and unusual sounds. He knew that Leanne had had too much to drink and needed to be taken back to her mother's house. Tim quickly entered the bathroom, saw Leanne lying on her back in the bathtub, the water lapping at her body. The scene, it seemed, was a picture of chaos. Leanne, drunk, was completely out of control. She began to react violently to Tim's efforts. Her limbs were unsteady, her movements were aimless, and chaos spread around her like a storm. When Tim tried to pull Leanne out of the tub, she did not cooperate. Instead, Leanne began to beat Tim without restraint. Her aimless punches, though weakened by her drunken state, still carried a force that could not be underestimated. Tim, already tired and stressed, felt his wife's resistance was a terrible burden. He tried to stay calm, but things only got worse. In the chaos, Tim was at a loss for what to do. His stress was mounting. 
Leanne's drunken state made Tim feel like he was in the middle of an uncontrollable storm. In a fit of panic, Tim decided to hold Leanne underwater. He felt like he was facing an unwinnable situation, and this decision seemed like the only way to control the situation. Leanne, lurking in the cold water, could not resist or fight back. Her condition began to worsen. Tim saw Leanne begin to float, the water around her turning from pale blue to murky. She emerged from the water, her skin pale and her eyes dull. Tim felt like he was witnessing a nightmare. Every second felt like a torture, and Tim felt like time had stopped. He knew the situation had become more serious than ever. She lay motionless in the tub, unresponsive. In a state of panic and despair, Tim quickly changed out of his wet clothes and threw them into the washing machine, as if to erase the traces of this terrible act. Jamie called 911, reporting that Leanne had drowned due to alcohol. Her voice was tragic and innocent. The police arrive and begin investigating Leanne's death, and things quickly become complicated. Although Tim tries to present the incident as an unfortunate accident due to drunkenness, the signs cannot be ignored. Documents and diaries recovered from Shannon's home, along with evidence from the scene, gradually reveal a dark and suspicious picture. The secret messages between Tim and Jamie, along with intimate photos they sent each other, reveal a secret relationship rife with betrayal. The presence of Jamie, an outsider whom Leanne did not suspect, makes things even more serious. The pieces of the truth gradually emerge, indicating that Tim was not only a cheating husband, but also a criminal who had calculated and deliberately carried out his cruel actions. Tim Shannon is eventually <laughs> caught and convicted. He will serve a 13 to 25 year prison sentence and will not be eligible for release until he is in his 50s. His life has been completely destroyed and he will have to face the consequences of a terrible decision that tore a family apart and hurt innocent children. Meanwhile, Jamie Hathaway, the young nanny, has left the area and lives quite far away. She becomes a witness for the prosecution and her life is no longer the same. Jamie, a loving nanny, has become involved in a serious crime, witnessing the collapse of a family. Leanne's two children now live with their grandparents. Their lives are no longer the same, and the pain of losing their mother has become a part of everyday life. Tim and Jamie are no longer happy figures in the community, but symbols of betrayal and guilt. The case is not only a story of betrayal, but also a painful lesson about what can happen when secrets and deception prevail. It leaves an indelible scar on those affected, and every time it is mentioned, it reminds us of a tragedy that changed the lives of many.